Yeah! <laughs> what up? Welcome back to the video, guys. We are here located at Garden State Harley Davidson, and it is a beautiful, cold day out here in dirty Jersey. High of 28 degrees, guys. So, yeah, it is freezing. But we're out here doing these beautiful reviews, and look what we have here. We got the 2021 Harley Davidson Street Bob with a brand new 114 engine in there. This thing is a beauty. And we got it right next to my current bike, but I got it in black. The 2021 Harley Davidson Low Rider S in that beautiful crimson, in that beautiful new color that they came out with for this year. This thing is an absolute beauty right there. We're gonna be talking about this bike mostly, but there's one reason why I put it next to this bike, and we're gonna be talking about that soon. Now, the big talk of the week, uh, the Street Bob. The Street Bob going from a 107 to a 114, Harley Davidson surprising us with that. Um, definitely a big plus. A lot of people are very happy about this bike right now. And I feel like the Street Bob this year is gonna be a big, big contender on the soft tail lineup. It's gonna be one of the big, big, huge selling points, big, huge selling bikes. Just for the simple fact that it's now carrying the 114 engine. Now we tell people that it's not a huge difference going from the 107 to the 114. This is only gonna give you about a 10% increase when it comes to power, but more power, more power, <laughs> more power, more power, right? Um, now a few little things that they did change on this bike is also the tank graphics as you can see here. Beautiful, nice design. This is the black and orange. It also comes with uh, in green, it comes in white, it comes in orange, and just a, a, a box full of different crayons is here for you to choose uh, your favorite Street Bob flavor. So another little change that it made was also adding this pillion seat right here to the chop fender, which is pretty nice. Uh, that, that was a nice little add-on. Now this bike now comes set up for two. You got your passenger pegs here in the bottom as well, so, which is also a plus. So very, very cool. Before this bike didn't come with the passenger pegs, they didn't come with the pillion seat, and it only came with the 107 engine. Now that is honestly the biggest change. Um, you got the LED lighting in the front, still you got the same wheels. One thing I wish they could have added uh, was dual disc front brakes because now with all this power, how are you going to stop? <laughs> um, so you, you got your uh, one disc in the front for your braking power. I mean, these uh, that one disc is going to give you a great amount of stopping power still. It's going to be crazy to the point where it's like, you know, it's not a, it's not a braking point, you know? Now, one thing I do like about this bike is this digital gauge here that a lot of people hated in the beginning when they first came out with this bike. And from the beginning, I was a huge, huge fan of it. Um, that looks pretty cool. The mini eight bars feel great as well. We're gonna be taking this right out in a few. I wanna let you guys know how I feel on it. Um, but really quick, reason why I want to put it next to the uh, 21 Lowrider S is because the Street Bob is gonna be this bike's new competitor. This bike came out and it just everyone fell in love with it started selling like crazy but those numbers might i don't know like that street bob might affect it just a simple fact that the selling price point is such a huge gap now this bike right here selling price point is 14.99 the low rider ass is 18.99 so not a huge difference but in a way yes um so for for, for that price point a lot of people might just look at the Street Bob and overlook the Lowrider S because they'll be able to save a lot of money in this bike. But before you go down that rabbit hole and think about, hey, you know, I'm going to be saving a lot more money, same size engine, and blah, blah, blah. Let me tell you something real quick. On this, you're going to have a full fender, which I am a, uh, I am a fan of the chop fender in the back. I am a fan of that, the bobber style. But I prefer a full fender. So in this, you're gonna you're gonna be getting a full fender, and you're gonna be seeing the LED uh, turn light in the back. Um, you're gonna be getting the little bikini fairing here in the front. Um, standard ABS, dual disc front brakes, and obviously the wheels, which is a, a huge selling point for me. You're gonna have the mag wheels on here and the spokes on the street bob, and then number one very very important is the gas tank so a bigger gas tank on the uh low rider s 
compared to the uh, Street Bob. Street Bob is going to have like a 3.5 gallon gas tank. This is a 5 gallon gas tank. So a lot more miles are going to be getting on this bike. So th those are a lot of things that you should think about before, you know, going out spending the money on each bike put it next to each other compare them see what was going to be more beneficial to you what works out better for you um if you really don't care about the extra stuff that this bike comes with then i'll tell you what this bike is definitely a hell of a bike for you to get this was the bike that i was going to originally get before i got my 2020 uh lowrider s so i am uh, a big fan of this bike uh me and jerry are going to throw a leg over these bikes take them out for a little ride and let you guys know what we think about them Now something else that this bike is gonna have is thinner wheels. The wheels on this bike are a lot more thinner than the ones on the uh, Lowrider S. Measurements, I don't know exactly, but they are a lot thinner. Ready? These mini apes feel, they feel great, man. A lot of people do change them out just because aesthetics. The best thing about Harley Davidson is aesthetics. Aftermarket parts are, you know, for days. They make anything and everything for these bikes. Now you're also gonna have these slightly mid forward controls on here. They feel great, nice little seating position. Now as far as the seat, it's not the most comfortable seat in the world, I'll let you know right now. Um, very, very firm. You're, this is not the type of bike that you're gonna wanna take out and do a few hundred miles in, cause yeah, your butt's gonna be hurting. But there are a lot of options for that out there in the aftermarket world. Now this is the lightest bike on the uh, soft tail frame, guys. So a lot of more power now on a very light bike, which is a plus. This bike is a lot lighter than my uh, Lowrider S. Feels great, man. That Milwaukee A is packed with power, man. Ready to come out swinging. The Milwaukee A is like the is like the boxer you see right before the fight. That's nice and quiet. He looks very nice. He's very very quiet, very tamed. And as soon as you get on that throttle, gets out. It's ready to come out there swinging. What do you guys think about the uh, the new color on the uh, on the 2021 for the Lowrider S? They got rid of the uh, Barracuda over this year, so it's only uh option you're gonna get on that bike is gonna be in black like i have mine and then that uh that burgundy color now as far as control guys it's gonna be your regular harley davidson controls on and off button here on the right your cutoff switch dual turn signals on there your right uh turn signal then on the left, you're gonna have your left turn signal, uh, toggle button, horn, and uh, high beam low beam. And then with that uh, beautiful design, digital analog here in the front, I think it's pretty cool. And um, people always wonder if you uh, are gonna have a uh, hard time seeing that on the light. And right now, the light's directly on it, and it looks pretty good i'm not sure if the camera's picking it up but i can see it very well so it's a good visibility now this is definitely the type of bike that you, you know you want to take up to the canyons up to the mountains get really aggressive on those roads very fun bike to ride Especially now with this new engine. <laughs> Very cool. Only thing is just uh, that bothers me. It's just a small tank, man. 3.5 gallon tank. You're going to be making a lot more stops than what you would be on the uh, Lowrider S.
definitely a cool bike though, man. The bike just looks really, really cool, really, really awesome. Now, if you are looking for a cheaper option than this and you do want to stay on a soft tail platform, they also do have the standard. I was going to take out the standard, put it against this, but thought that maybe the, the low rider S might have been a better competitor to put it against. But the standard is going to um, it's gonna be the cheaper version of the Street Bob. It's literally a Street Bob. Um, it's going to be cheaper. Uh, it's going to have the 107 engine. It's not going to have all the black accents, though. Everything's gonna be um, either chrome, chrome or stainless steel. Now the Street Bob has a very, very classic Harley Davidson look to it. With the chop fender in the back, you know, it reminds me of that barber style era. Um, the Street Bob attracts a lot of younger riders uh, to the Harley Davidson platform as well, just because it's just a really cool looking bike. It rides phenomenal, too. It handles great. Very nice. Pull over here, we'll check it out. So just real quick, just to show you guys exactly what this digital gauge uh, consists of. Neutral, where are you? Nope, right there. So as you can see here, it's gonna let you know exactly how much gas you have left in your tank, your miles, uh, how fast you're going. And then down here, you're gonna see if you're on neutral, if you need oil, if you need gas, your turn signals when you put them on. It all's gonna display everything right there on the bottom. Pretty nice. Uh, another little pointer that people forget to tell you about these bikes and uh, the other things they bring are the USB ports. So, got a USB port right there where you're able to plug in your phone or your GoPro, whatever you wanna charge on there, which is a pretty, pretty cool, pretty cool little touch. I always forget about the little touch, but very nice. Now we're gonna throw a leg over the uh, 2021 Lowrider S here. I mean, I had this bike. This is my bike. So if you're new to my channel, guys, this is my bike. Well, mine's black, but I have tons and tons of content on this bike out there already. Uh, done a ton of mods on my bike. So if you have some time, scroll down. Um, I have a playlist just for that. Now, Jerry is very, very excited to get on this bike because he, uh, he he's like I don't know he he was very interested in buying this bike not so long ago like right when it came out he uh, fell in love with it um, and he does love this bike as well so right now he's getting to get them both of them try them out he's been on my bike before as well so he knows how it rides but I'm pretty sure he's gonna have a little fun on this now what do you think about the whole aesthetics and the looks of it Jerry oh I love it I love the black with the orange uh -huh. it's like like originally I was like all orange but I saw the white and I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. But just the black with the straight orange. Yeah, that, that's my favorite my favorite color that's scheme right there. That's probably what I would go with. Yeah. I don't think it's, you know, it's another like four or 500 for the paint. But I'm not really in love with the other paint shops. I would get this. It looks, it looks super clean. Super, super clean. How's it ride? It's good, man. I mean, I've been on the street bar before. It rides good. You know, the... I haven't been on the street bar, I don't think. Never? Never. Well, you're about to get on one now, buddy. Uh, sitting on a stock lowrider s what is this <laughs> what is this oh it is cold today man it's like 27 28 degrees we're like i got my heated gloves on i got my heated liner so you know i'm good my feet are cold though you ready let's go oh this feels so different from my bike just because I, I have my risers, I have eight inch uh, San Jose custom risers on my bike. And um, it feels so different. I also got the Road Warrior, Memphis Shades Road Warrior on it. My levers are different. I got some shorty levers on mine. Foot pegs are different. I've changed a, bun a bunch of stuff in that bike.
You see now, this bike just feels like it's just tuned very, very differently though. Because this bike, right off the jump, it feels faster than that 114 Street Bob. It just feels way, way different. One thing I forgot to mention uh, when it comes to differences is that this bike is also going to come with um, inverted uh, front forks in the front. So less of a rake is going to give you more of an aggressive ride. Um, it just more more feels and the bike is going to feel more nimble but i'll tell you something right off the jump like i said this bike is definitely tuned different from that bike because this just feels way faster how do you guys feel about this color for this here midnight crimson that's i think that's the color i think that's the name of it midnight crimson it's pretty nice i wish they um Okay, come on with a third option but it's a special you know the the lowrider s is the special so you can't really you know flood the market with too many different colors how do you guys think jerry looks on that street bob right there well, it was cool man and i really like like i said before like i'm a huge fan of the full fender but the top fender in the back looks pretty cool though it just looks really, really cool. It looks a bit menacing, if I may say. Now, for you new riders out there, what do you guys prefer so far? Will you uh, prefer to go with the Street Bob or with the uh, Lord Rider S? <laughs> These are probably the coolest two soft tail uh, models they are. These two and then in the Fat Bob. They just, look, they just look super cool. Like super cool, badass looking bikes. I'm a fan of the other soft tails, yes. But well, these bikes, they just look super, super, super cool. After going over all the specs and everything, he was like, well, you know what? If I'm going to spend that much money on that bike, I should, might as well just get a little Rider S because of all the extra things that it comes with. Especially the dual disc front brakes, which is a, a huge plus and a huge upgrade. Well, guys, I think that's going to be it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And I hope I was able to help you out with your final decision on what bike you're going to want to get. Um, like I said before, if you are in the local area, New Jersey, New York, make sure to stop by Garden State Harley-Davidson. Ask for Rob, tell him Marvel Kiss sent you, and he'll definitely take care of you. I'm going to keep enjoying this beautiful cold Sunday out here in dirty Jersey. And I'm going to go inside and take a look at these all new beautiful 2021 Harley-Davidson's. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.